If there are external forces acting on the system, we cannot use conservation of mechanical energy. Instead, we need to use energy considerations, and we include the consideration of the work done by a force that's putting energy into the system, and any work done against resisting forces. When using energy considerations with external forces, we create a balanced equation. Any work done by external forces that's putting energy into the system, plus energy that's being lost, is equal to any energy that's being gained, plus work done against any resisting forces. Here are a few examples of possibilities. There are no external resisting forces in this uh, system and there is no change in potential energy. Therefore, by energy considerations, the work done by the external force is just equal to the increase in kinetic energy. In this question, there has been a loss of potential energy, a gain of kinetic energy, and also some work done against the resisting force. So by energy considerations, the potential energy that's been lost is equal to the increase in kinetic energy plus the work done against the resisting force. We can use a Pythagorean triple uh, for the 3, 4, 5 triangle to work out the values of sine alpha and cos alpha. We now need to be able to work out the magnitude of the frictional force. Initially, we can resolve perpendicular to the plane to find the normal reaction. And then since the object is moving, we can use F equals mu r to find the value of the friction. In this question, there has been kinetic energy that's been lost. There's been an increase in the potential energy and there's been work done against friction. Therefore, by energy considerations, the Ke that's been lost is equal to the increase in potential energy plus the work done against friction.